I bought a mango from Walmart the other day because I love mangoes. And I um, thought I would try to um, have a snack over here while I'm out at Camp Freedom 2 at Yurt 1.0. The skeleton of Yurt 1.0. Which turns out to be a really nice spot to just chill. I put a little bench here. Um, anyhow, I'm going to have some mangoes here. And then afterwards, I'm going to try to plant the seed. I don't know if you recall when I first came to Camp Freedom 2, um, I had tried planting some stuff. I don't know if they grew, I don't think they did, like papaya, but I think I see a papaya plant here, even though I didn't grow it. The leaves on here, those look kind of like papaya leaves, although the stem's a little bit small. So these may be papaya, right here. I don't know. It looks a little small though. Uh, I don't know, the... No, I don't think they're papaya because the, um, the center stem's too small. But I am going to try to grow some mangoes out here um, near year 2.0. So if the mango plant actually grows, it'll provide some shade and um, give some food. It's getting really windy out here. Doesn't this stuff look good? Now, I normally don't eat the... Um, Mangoes is ripe. I like them kind of green, but they only had them ripe, so I went ahead and bought it even though it was ripe. So if I plant this and the mango tree grows, I'll be eating them while they're green, but I doubt I'll be able to eat them because um, mango trees can take a long, long time to grow. So if this tree ever grows, I might be long gone. But anyhow, um, I'm going to suggest for everyone watching this that if you're out there in the boonies, do some um, gorilla planting. Just um, plant stuff. Food. Papaya, mangoes, berries, strawberries, maybe grapes. I'm going to try to plant things around here, around the compound and around um, Camp Freedom 2 and the yurt. So that anyone stopping by here can have fruit, food ready to go. Fresh. Here then is my mango seed. That was pretty good. A little sweet. I normally like it um, raw. I like it like green and then I eat it um, with salt. You basically dip it into salt and eat it. But like this you don't need salt or anything. It's sugary. It's sweet. So all that remains to be done now is to uh, plant it. The booming you're hearing is the sky getting ready to open up. See how it's all black over there? That's uh, thunder right there that we're hearing. Anyhow, I think I'm going to plant it by Yurt 2.0 in the back side somewhere over here in the backyard to try to give myself some shade because the mango tree is pretty big when it grows. I don't know how big this one is though. But we're going to go ahead and try to find a suitable location, start digging, and um, see if we can't plant a mango. I've decided that this location right here, approximately... Uh, 15, 10 to 15 feet away from the yurt. It's good. I think that this is enough room, enough dis distance for it to be away from the yurt so it doesn't um, grow into the yurt. But also far, close enough that it can provide some shade eventually. So we're going to go ahead and try to dig here real quick before the sky opens up. It's actually raining right now. It's one of those um, raining days where it's raining and the sun is still out. It's kind of weird. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and dig, and hopefully we can get this thing planted. Here then is the hole that I've dug. We're going to try to just place the uh, mango seed in here. And bury it up. I probably dug about five, six, maybe seven inches. I'm going to go ahead and bury up the dirt, and then um, water it, and then just see what happens. We'll see if we can't grow a mango plant. Mango tree, rather. Right here, right by Yurt um, 2.0. I have um, buried up the seed. So all that remains to be done now is to water it. And just keep watering it every day, or every other day. Hopefully the rain will help to water it. And we'll see if we can't grow a mango tree. Hopefully the skunk ape doesn't dig it up like it dug up my pizza tree.